today I'm taking you on a tour, giving you first exclusive access to the newest Airbnb in Temecula wine country. Welcome to the Vintage House on Madeira. Thanks for having us today. Of course, come on in, let me show you around. When did you guys buy this house? So we brought the property back in 2022. The vision was really to incorporate a luxury property here in Temecula, inspired from both Napa and mm. St. Bart's. Yeah, so originally the property was a bare piece of land. The only thing sitting on it was the home. Okay. Um, we planted three and a half acres for a full 360 view um, of planted vineyard. So we have three and a half acres of Cab Franc um, that we sell to local wineries here in the region. Okay. Do you plan to make your own wine? We one do day? one day. Yeah, that'll be so. Yeah, fun. absolutely. You'll have your own wine label. Absolutely. Okay, so this home is six bedrooms total. Six bedrooms okay. total, three bathrooms. Okay, and is it three upstairs and three downstairs? Correct. Three upstairs, three downstairs, okay. and then there's also two living spaces with full couches. Okay. Um, so the home really comfortably can sleep anywhere between twelve to sixteen. A lot Absolutely. of bridal parties, girls' nights, girls' trips. Absolutely. Um, and even maybe couples' trips. I know we travel mm -hmm. a lot as a family with other couples as well. And it's so nice to have a place where you can stay all together, have that kind of like in between maybe morning coffee together, wine out by the fire Absolutely. pit, you know, that whole feel. But then have your own space at the exactly. end of the night. Exactly. One special thing about this home as well is we offer, offer a full concierge service. Okay. Um, so the great thing about that is when you book with our property, we act as a full-time concierge. So you have a number to reach us, we make reservations, wine Ooh. tasting, um, we can even set up a chef or a massage therapist to come to the property. So really anything you need, we handle here. So all of our rooms are either queen or uh, king beds. And I think you'll find in a lot of Airbnbs in the area, they often stack a lot of beds mm -hmm. in a single room. Yes. Um, we're going for a more luxury stay where you could really come to your room and have that solitude okay. instead of being, you know, with multiple other people or yes. families in the same bedroom. And here's our primary suite. Some of the inspiration behind this was just kind of some unexpected fun where we really introduced that into the primary bathroom in here with this fun tile. I love this so much. And double shower. It makes Airbnb so fun when there's like that pop of little like funkiness exactly. or like those moments so you walk in. Especially the ones moment. you don't expect. Exactly. So. Exactly. And then our final bedroom upstairs is what I like to call the peacock bedroom because it has this great fun wallpaper. So what you also find in every single room is we have a beautiful vineyard view. Mm -hmm. So that's really, you know, something just enjoyable for the guests that you get to wake up and you are truly in the vineyard. Yes. So this is one of my favorite parts of the entire home. Um, is the game room and the downstairs so living room. Fun. It's oh, a this lot is of fun. great. I can foresee a lot of entertainment, a lot of parties, maybe movie nights. Absolutely. This is like where the fun happens. So big screen TV, you can play video games, you can relax and have a good time watching movies. You can use the pool table. We have a bar set up. Um, and a really fun attribute of the home is instead of giving, let's say, chocolate or red wine to guests, mm -hmm. we do a full candy bar for every guest to enjoy. I love that. So fun. Such a nice touch. The first bedroom we're going to come across is this one here. And it offers two twin beds, a, a trundle system, or you can even pop it up into a queen version. So it allows if you have small children mm -hmm. or you know two people wanting to stay in this size room to enjoy these amenities. And I say this is the best view in the house because you have a full visual of the entire vineyard. And the last two bedrooms are here. We have one king bed over here. Again, large rooms, mm -hmm. great space. Um, and you'll find every room has a small pop of color just to bring some warmth to it. Mm -hmm. And we've come to the final room, which is another queen bedroom. Most of the furniture in the home is all Pottery Barn and West Elm. Oh, wow. Um, we thought that was really important to put quality furniture yes. in here. Um, I think you'll see when you stay at many Airbnbs, um, mm -hmm. you're not getting the most quality, yes. correct? So by putting quality furniture in here, it just gave that more elevated experience Absolutely. when you walk in the home. 
Now can I ask you this, real talk, does that make you nervous having guests stay in your beautiful home with beautiful furniture? You know what, it doesn't, <laughs> because I think the nicer a home is, the more someone is likely to treat it as their own. Yes, I agree with that, absolutely. So I call this the crown jewel of the Madeira house. <laughs> Wow. And there's really nothing that I think we missed in the mm -hmm. whole experience of the backyard. We wanted it welcoming. We wanted to be able to have vineyard views everywhere. So when you're sitting in the pool during summer, that you're able to look around and see the full 360 of the vines. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted a bar and barbecue so you can come out here and cook. We wanted the property to be pet friendly. We have a small dog at home that we take just about everywhere. Yes. And I know one of the first things I do when looking for a place to stay is ask, are you dog friendly? Yes. Um, so we even put, you know, a small dog waste station. A lot of Airbnbs don't have pools. Right. I mean, I can imagine that being such a big draw for people coming out to enjoy Temecula wine country. You would go enjoy, you know, wine tasting, stop back by for pool dip, you know, and then end the day and the night with the fire pit. It's Absolutely. such a well-rounded experience. Well, with our climate out here, it's normally always above 70 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. So why not be able to enjoy the inside and outside of this property? Um, when we first bought it, as I mentioned, it was just a piece of dirt. And my thoughts were, how could we not create this experience that you can mm -hmm. enjoy being outside? Yes. That's the entire reason people come to wine country to enjoy yeah. the beautiful landscape. Um, and really, I think this was incorporated well here. So. Now, if someone is interested in staying here, mm -hmm. What does that booking process look like? Yeah, so it's really simple. They just go on to airbnb.com. Um, they look up the luxury vintage house in Temecula and they'll be prompted for their stay. So okay. it's an easy process. Wonderful. Well, I foresee this getting booked out very quickly. <laughs> so I sure hope so. Yes, absolutely. This will be the new highlight of Temecula wine country. Thank you so much for your time today, giving us a tour of your beautiful home and Airbnb. So thank you for your time today. Thank you for allowing us to do so. Thanks for joining us on today's tour. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Make sure to book your stay and I'll see you in wine country.